the Gherkin is Alpesh Patel, founding principal at Profinium Partners, which invests in the equity uh, markets. I should ask Alpesh, do you have any shares in WPP? Not in WPP, but we wouldn't be averse to it. Right, OK. Are you persuaded with what he has to say? Is he really worth that much money? He is. He's only getting paid about half a percent of pre-tax profits. Now, imagine if you owned 100 percent of that company and I came and said to you, I'm going to generate you a billion pounds in profits. Uh, do you mind if I take half a percent of that? You'd probably say, yeah, actually, you know what? You're getting underpaid. Not only that, over the last 15 years, their share price has quadrupled, quadrupled over the same time frame under which the bank's share prices have gone absolutely nowhere. The man's getting paid for performance. Actually, he's getting underpaid for performance. But it's a lack of performance that the shareholders that are feeling uppity are highlighting, isn't it? I mean, they, they say one's been res responding to the Financial Times. They don't say, tell us the source, but, you know, let's take as, uh, as read that this is accurate. WPP underperformed the FTSE 100, of which it's a constituent, of course, by nearly 10% last year. That does not warrant a 60% total pay increase. You say it does? Uh, this year so far, it's outperformed the FTSE 100 by 15%. That's a short-term period. Let's go long-term. As I said, 16 years, it's quadrupled. But based on last year's, last financial year's performance, the share price didn't, was, was not impressive compared to the rest of the FTSE 100. The, the fact that they were up 20% on their profits, the fact that they made profits of a billion pounds, not impressive. I think the shareholders are actually shooting themselves in the foot. They're the whinging 30%. Because if I was a shareholder on the other 70%, I'd be thinking it's time to get out of this stock. Not because the CEO's not getting paid too much or getting paid too little, but because shareholders are making it very difficult for his existence to continue focusing on delivering results. So the shareholders are actually, the ones who are whinging, are actually shooting themselves in the foot. If you think 20% rise in profits to a billion pounds is underperformance, or these fund managers do, I'd be very but intrigued to see what their, their fund performance is, because I bet you, like 90% of fund managers, okay. they're underperforming the FTSE. It, it, I mean, no one's questioning that the, the company's performing well and that he hasn't got an, in, uh, an important role, but it's a question here, surely, of proportionality. I mean, a 60% pay rise in a time of austerity, at a time when his company did okay but didn't do stellar, uh, didn't have a stellar performance, did it? I mean, it still, it feels, I think the suggestion here is that this is a man who perhaps is too big for the company, that shareholders or the, the people on the board are deferential and that he holds too much clout. There. There's a lot of arguments there, none of which stack up. Uh, half a percent of profits, a mere half a percent of profits is all he's getting. So we can put that one to rest. The other one about, oh, well, he's getting too much. He's too big for the board. He only owns about 2% of the company. It's an independent board of directors who've given him a whopping £6 million out of a billion pounds in profits. We are being very parsimonious uh, with, with the pay packet that this chief executive's getting. Uh, it, it seems incredibly unfair when you consider that we live in a capitalist, not a socialist economy, to say, no, no, you're getting paid too much. Uh, what next? Are we going to legislate against pay for performance? You're happy, Alpesh, with what he's earning. A lot of shareholders aren't. I mean, do you expect the, the pay report to be voted down at the AGM? Actually, a lot of shareholders are, because it's only about 30% who are, who are complaining. And the ones that are complaining, they're only doing it because they know they're not in the majority to begin with. Because, so you reckon because about 30% are involved? About that, that's what the FT had reported. Now, actually, it's very simple. If you, if you don't like what he's getting paid, you sell your shares. You go and buy them in Barclays Bank instead and see how that performs. Forms. Okay, Alpesh Patel, a big fan of Sir Martin Sorrell, though you don't hold shares in the company, maybe that will change. From Provinian Partners, thank you very much for joining us.